Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to answer the question, what is allelopathy? Well, first of all, it's an interesting word to try to say. A lot of folks <laughs> have trouble yep. saying that particular word. I'm not even going to attempt it on today's program. But when you think about it, uh, what Brian's talking about here is something that's natural out in the environment, and it's a way for plants to protect themselves. Yeah, it's a natural pesticide. So here's our example. Let's say you have alfalfa, like we do on our farm. And it's been a great crop, so I want to plant alfalfa again. Well, if I have alfalfa out in the field, and let's say I go out, I till today, and then I seed alfalfa tomorrow, that alfalfa that I seed may not grow very well. The reason why is because alfalfa puts out this natural pesticide, and what we call the term is allelopathy, but basically what it's trying to do is prevent other alfalfa plants from growing in that field. Well, you often see this where there's a plant and right around it is bare dirt. Well, why is nothing else growing there? It's actually something natural that's going on called allelopathy. And many of the manufacturers of ag chemicals, for example, look at this and say, wow, that plant is doing a great job protecting the area around it. I wanna investigate that toxin that they're putting into the soil to see is that something that can be reproduced that we can use because you think about it what's a little more scary some chemical developed in a lab or a chemical that a plant produces naturally that's already out there yeah so for example years ago there was a syngenta researcher that had a calistamone tree in his backyard realized hey i don't see any broadleaf weeds around this tree i wonder if it's putting out any pesticide into the soil Sure enough, they found what eventually became mesotrione, or the brand name is Callisto. It's one of the best herbicides we've ever seen. It's amazing. Well, that started with a plant. Well, if you've had some issues around the house of, man, I can't get something to grow in that area, take a look at what's been in that area. Perhaps there's a lelopathic toxin that that plant had been producing to stop other plants from growing and you might just have to wait another year before you can get a similar plant growing in that area. Yeah, so I gave the example earlier of alfalfa. Generally speaking, you've got to wait a year, at least in our region of the country, you have to wait a year before you want to put alfalfa in that field again. So we'll take our alfalfa out, we'll plant some corn in there for a year, then we'll go back to alfalfa and everything will be fine. That allelopathic effect should be all gone within a year. But the question is, will allelopathy stop our weed of the week? We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.